if you ever watched the movie Alita Battle Angel or played the game Cyberpunk 2077, then I'm sure at some point in time, you had a fascination with cyborg robots. I mean, sure, we talk a lot about human-like humanoid robots on this channel all the time, but there's a difference between cyborg robots and humanoid robots. A humanoid robot, of course, has a human-like appearance, like our fully functioning love bots. Of course, we know our female robots, while a cyborg is actually a human, but a human outfitted with mechanical body parts or implants, such as artificial organs, heart valves, or artificial limbs. Well, in the case of today's video, robotic arms, the Jizai arms. And with all that being said, meet the Jizai arms. Similar to something straight out of Marvel Comics mimicking Dr. Octopus and his robotic tentacles, However, unfortunately, these robotic limbs aren't made from supernatural nanotechnology and controlled telepathically through telekinesis, but nonetheless, still very impressive. The Jizai arms are a robotic limb system consisting of a wearable base unit with six terminals and detachable robot arms. The Jizai company says the system was designed to enable social interaction between multiple wearers, such as an exchange of arms, and to explore possible interactions between digital cyborgs in a cyborg society. Fun fact, did you know there are people out there that believe that human society as a whole is a cyborg? A person could even be called a cyborg when they are... For instance, using specific wearable technologies like Google Glasses or even using laptops or mobile devices to do various work. So in turn, being a cyborg means to realize that technology defines humanity. Human society as a whole is a cyborg. But as an individual, we rarely see ourselves this way. So if you look at it like that, then rather than ask the question and refer to the future, we could say, not so long ago, we were asking ourselves whether we were heading towards a future where the human race would eventually merge with machines. 2050, when artificial intelligent humanoid robots will walk among us? Well, this question is outdated. And one proof of that are these cyborgs. A cyborg? or a cybernetic organism in IT is defined as an organism with both biological and technological components. It is an organism that has restored function or enhanced abilities due to the integration of some artificial components or technology that relies on some sort of feedback. So we could easily say that superheroes that we know from fairy tales and movies are actually real. Superhuman strength, dexterity, and senses are no longer science fiction. They are already here and reality. The only true next step would be telekinesis. Brain time. Congratulations. You made it this far in the video. What would you do if I told you you could have 25 years of good luck and all you'd have to do is like this video and also subscribe if you haven't already. Well, what are you waiting for? Smash that like button and you'll get 25 years of good luck. And now back to the video. So depending on how you look at it, it's actually very interesting to look at the world through the eyes of a cyborg. But again, depending on how you look at it, we are already living in a cyborg society. Anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you enjoyed this one and you want to watch more videos like it, make sure you check out all my other videos. And if you haven't already, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe. Till next time, catch you in the next one. プロローク、行ってください。
In this year's demo, the robot utilized a system for singing using a human singer as a model. This enables it to sing with a more natural voice and expression. impairments such as glaucoma and macular degeneration. Building the world's first AR contact lens is a systems engineering problem, and therefore we've had to innovate in many different areas. The Mojo lens includes thin film, biosafe batteries to power the system, as well as motion sensors to enable the world's most accurate eye tracking. We've also developed an extremely low power image sensor that's used for computer vision and scene detection. 